so actually, this is actually a really common question. I get this asked a lot. As a consultant, I get to use my favorite answer. Well, it depends. <laughs> but seriously, uh, B2B and B2C share a number of similar characteristics, which makes kind of choosing the right tool a bit unclear at first. But here, here's some good general guidelines that I use. Uh, Azure B2B is really an extension of your existing Office 365 tenant, which contains your workforce users, typically synced in from Enterprise AD, and often trusted people from other Office 365 tenants, mostly, uh, that you invite in to collaborate with, especially using Microsoft first-party apps like Office 365 SharePoint, uh, or maybe some of your other enterprise apps. Uh, so it's really for your workforce and your closely trusted uh, collaborators. Now, B2C, on the other hand, is really for your customers that consume your digital services, right? And these users typically either invite themselves through a self-service sign-up or via some sort of invitation that, that you send to them. And these users can have both locally managed usernames and passwords, or even better, bring their own identity from social identity providers. And the apps that they typically sign into are your custom applications for them and, and not your apps like Office 365, uh, which is important to say Office 365 uh, really can't be associated with B2C. Uh, and that's a really good reason for that because we often see customers implement both solutions. Uh, uh, in addition to other reasons to prevent access to business systems like Office 365, from customers and suppliers. And I'm sure we all remember a recent case where a contractor account was used inappropriately accessing customer systems. But in this kind of separated model, since customers only exist in B2C, you've made it impossible to assign them access, whether innocently or nefariously. Uh, and in the case where your workforce actually needs to work inside of those customer facing apps, you can use federation to let the employees have access to those customer systems without having to create yet another account. You just federate them together. So yeah, B2B, uh, workforce, you know, and, and closely trusted uh, partners, B2C, you know, all the people consuming your digital services, AKA your customers. Uh, so that's, that's the general uh, delineation I explained to people between the two.